definition in in coming slides historical cost principle says that whatever you purchase at that time you will record it that's it you cannot say that okay this year land cost increases so we just increase the land the value of the land in that case the principle of fairness you are violating even though if the land cost is decreased you bought it at 1 million dollar in 2010 and now to 2022 there is a recession and the value of the land decreases to 0.5 million so you you cannot reduce the value of the land to 0.5 you just write it down 1 million that's it after some time maybe it increases to 20 million but you will write at the historical cost the last one is stable monetary assumption so if you are presenting your statements in dollars then please present it through a consistent consistent period of time in dollars it doesn't mean that in one year you presented your reports in dollars other year you are presented in yen next year you are presented in yuan so it should be a consistent assumption so normally people present their information in dollars because we are studying the principles of economics based on us perspective so this book is us perspective every information every example you will see in dollars right it doesn't mean that you have to present your you know your financial statements in dollars right you can also present your financial statements in japanese yen in rupiah in euro right but it should be a stable monetary unit it doesn't mean that okay one time you use euro next time you are using yuan other time you are using yuan and then yen it's not like that you can change after some fair period of time after 5 years or and then you mention the reason why you are changing as well so this is the ifrs that i told you which is developed by iasb so which is a little bit different from gap so just pause the video and read this slide by yourself so it's just for extra information okay here we go so in advanced financial accounting we will talk about in detail these the the difference between these two standards but at this stage is just uh, an extra information for you let's talk about the third how oh, it's working now good let's talk about the third learning objective which is the accounting equation to business organization now from here we are jumping into the quantitative stuff okay the accounting equation is assets is equal to liabilities plus owners equity right assets is equal to liabilities plus owners equity so what is assets liabilities and owners equity we'll talk about after 10 minutes break right just remember that assets is equal to liabilities plus owners equity Okay, guys, welcome back after the break. Okay, before we start from this slide, let's talk about the course uh, content here. The course policy is here because I want everyone to present. Unfortunately, four people couldn't make today. So remember, be very careful regarding your attendance. right i have already shown you the preferred books our course policy here right and remember you must maintain 70% attendance or above you must maintain 70% attendance or above right it means you get only absent for four times 
that's it fifth time if you and if you are absent without any leave a proper record you are out and remember this one leave doesn't mean that you are eligible for class participation marks leave only going to save you from this 70% that's it it doesn't mean that if you would if you apply for leave you are not here but you are getting class participation marks okay so i would be uploading this as well okay back to our slides i would be uploading this course for uh, course content on our both platform wechat and blackboard okay let's back to our slides here so before the break we were talking about accounting equation is assets is equal to liabilities plus owners equity remember there is an equal sign here right equal sign here so it must be the case so if a company owns 1000 worth of assets it is distributed as 600 liabilities and 400 owners equity so we'll talk about what do we mean by assets and what do we mean by liabilities and what do we mean by owners equity in simple essence you can say that this 1000 assets is 1000 assets the company worth is now 1000 dollars in which 600 belongs to outsider 400 belongs to insider or the owners owners right outsider to our creditors right those who provide loan or those who have a claim on the on companies possessions companies assets so let's just talk about this accounting equation so what do we mean by assets asset is the economic resource so if you already you know go through economics with me over there we talk about the resource resource mean anything that have economic value monetary value if something is free that is not the asset all right if something is free that is not the asset and the other definition which is more of finance related definition which is expected future benefit anything that a business own for expected future benefit for example a business bought laptops of course employee is going to use that which help you to generate future benefit future profit furniture acs it helps employees to increase their productivity of course increasing benefit so anything that a company owns and it has a monetary value we call this asset right the fan air conditioner building land cars buses plant and machinery and all those stuff these are our assets liabilities or the outsider's claim on business assets or on the business outsider claim right which means expected future outflow or sacrifice if you bought so if you take a loan from bank you need to pay back the loan plus the interest so interest payable and the loans that belongs to outsiders not the owners that is called liability so we'll talk about the kinds of liabilities as well owners equity insider claims 
shareholders interest in the asset it means the part of assets that belong to stockholders owners right we call these stockholder equity or these are the interest in the assets of the business here so what are the assets so for this one we are taking the example of gap incorporation i hope most of you guys already know what is gap incorporation they are making clothes kids clothes female clothes clothing fashion clothing male clothing male fashion clothing right so we have the example of the gap in corporation what are their assets cash and cash equivalents what do we mean by cash and cash equivalents we have the example here no so cash and cash equivalents means all the dollars that they have bank accounts and remember gap is not in just one country it's many many countries so euro account yen account yuan account bank account these are all cash and cash equivalents or coins any cents okay these are all cash and cash equivalents inventories unsold items or finished goods items so they have a pants trousers ladies skirts whatsoever right but they are not sold so they are under the possession of business so do we call this inventory also if they are stitching then raw material the clothes the fabric is also inventory thread which is used to you know make you know the trouser t-shirts and all the stuff the fabric is also and the thread is also inventory right plant property and equipment so these are long lived assets which means their life is for more than one year plant production plant equipment like computer equipment like this fan furniture fixing geysers right these are equipment printing machines right air purification services these are called the the, the equipment property you already know that like like building like the land right liabilities these are accounts payable accounts payable are called supplier so gap and corporation purchase their uh, you know inventory their stocks from third party or source their vendors their suppliers so what are the normal course of action they will pay them later there are some business agreements okay you know the goods come to the store merchandise is coming to the store and they are selling and the account is going to be settled right continuously the you know the supplies are coming from this store to that store to other country they right so we call this account payable so account payable is the account that we describe that that, that describe supplier which means account if account payable are 10000 it means 10000 dollar we still need to pay to our suppliers income taxes any kind of taxes federal state income tax sales tax that are payable remember this one this is payable not being paid not paid 